people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to some more FNAF news. Today's episode is a little bit different because we're going to be recapping everything we know so far about the upcoming FNAF Into the Pit game. This was a title that was leaked a few months ago at this point and since then we haven't really had any major updates on the game. So since it's been a while since we last talked about Into the Pit and since the anniversary for FNAF is coming up, which apparently is around the time the game gets released, I figured now would just be a perfect time to recap everything we know as well as look at some teasers that we haven't previously looked at yet. So if you're excited for Into the Pit, if you're excited for FNAF's 10 year anniversary, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. We are getting so astronomically close to 100,000 subscribers, gonna hang that silver plaque probably right there. So let's see if we can get that before the 10th anniversary in August. But starting off the recap, we have to go back to the end of January where Scholastic released this roadmap for their releases in 2024. This is where we first found out about that interactive novel series, which will include books like The Week Before, as well as Return to the Pit, pretty fitting for this video. But off to the side, a few highlights and accolades for FNAF as a franchise were listed, and one of those bullet points was Into the Pit, a brand new game coming soon. Scholastic very quickly took down this roadmap, but people were already able to find info on the brand new game. Most notably, the Steam banner featuring Spring Bonnie, who's the main antagonist in Into the Pit. But the reason why this game was so surprising is because Into the Pit is actually a story from the Fazbear Fright series, making this our first real game adaptation of a book. For a quick summary of the story, Oswald visits an abandoned Freddy Fazbear's pizza, and he jumps into its old ball pit. He awakens in a vision of 1985, where he sees Spring Bonnie murdering six children. Oswald's father pulls him out, but he gets trapped. In the real world, his father is replaced by Spring Bonnie, but no one except Oswald realizes this. Oswald then returns to the pizzeria, rescues his dad and ultimately finishes off Spring Bonnie. And after some very basic Google searching, people are actually able to find a unlisted trailer for the game, which we'll play right now. Here we can see Jeff's Pizza. We've already done an analysis, but I'll show it off in case you haven't seen it. There's Spring Bonnie. You may notice it's in a 2D pixelated art style as well. An art style that is pretty much brand new to FNAF. Look at those muscles on the back of him, my goodness. But Mega Cat Studios is phenomenal in this art style. I mean, just look at this. There's Oswald inside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Here's the entrance to the location. There's Oswald's dad. There's the ball pit as well. There's Spring Bonnie taking his dad into the pit, I must admit. Then we got Oswald hiding inside a Golden Freddy suit, which is super interesting. Here's inside the suit, breathing heavy. And there's Spring Bonnie lurking just right outside. Hi, buddy. Luckily, you can't get us in here. Well, shoot. And keep in mind, this is all happening in the span of just one day when Scholastic leaked the game, we got our first look at the game, the first trailer leaked for the game, and then in the evening of that night, Scott finally replied in a Reddit comment saying, no need to keep this game all hush-hush. It's okay, yes, I was trying to keep it a secret for a bit longer, but now that it's out, that's fine. This game has been in development for a really long time, actually, and I'm really proud of the final product. It will be a 10th anniversary game. And then two days later, we finally got the official reveal from the developers, Mega Cat Studios, with them tweeting out, hi folks, we've gotten the official green light from Scott to confirm that FNAF Into the Pit is indeed happening. More details to come soon, and thank you all for the amazing feedback and enthusiasm. We can't wait to show you more from one FNAF to another. Thank Thank you for being a part of this exciting journey with us. With an official description for Into the Pit also being released around the same time, fall into the pit and immerse yourself in a new chapter in the Five Nights universe. Oswald wishes his town and his life weren't so boring. All that changes when he dives into the pit. Sorry, I just, I just can't help myself. Into the ball pit at a rundown pizzeria and finds himself in the past. However, Oswald's deepest desire will have an unexpected cost. Survive Five Nights of terror in this chilling adventure game. Travel through time to solve puzzles, gather clues, and outrun the threat chasing you through both universes. Move swiftly and stay hidden and you may just survive. But this time, it's not just your own life that is on the line. 
Oswald's father, and five children from the past could all meet their end if you don't save them. Experience the pulse-pounding adventure of a beloved entry in the Five Nights franchise into the pit. Solve satisfying puzzles intertwined with an adrenaline-filled story. Test yourself or take it easy in hard and casual modes with varied difficulty. Try to save your friends, your family, and escape with your life. Uncover the secrets in fatal minigames. Discover different endings, escape the clutches of the animatronic, and finally dive into a classic horror adventure in its entirety packed with agency and easter eggs. And that is pretty much everything we've covered so far here on the channel, so if you want a more in-depth analysis of that trailer, of that description, I'll leave our analysis video linked in the description, but gathered on the game's wiki page to the public are some leaked screenshots that we haven't yet talked about. So going through them very quickly, this first screenshot has Oswald in the year 1985 in the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and from underneath a table he's being grabbed by Bonnie. So it seems that while we're playing the game, not only do we have to look out for Spring Bonnie, but also some of the other animatronics like Bonnie, as we're gonna see later on, Chica as well. This right here is the bedroom of Oswald. A couple things to note. The first thing that caught my eye are toys that look very similar to the FNAF 4 toys in the Crying Child's bedroom. We can also see some drawings of the FNAF characters. I believe Oswald did like to draw some animatronics or robots in his story. Some family photos of them dressed up in purple as well as what appears to be a Godzilla poster. Again, I believe in the story, Oswald's like a big fan of Godzilla, so some pretty cute attention to detail right there. The next screenshot is apparently the basement of the pizzeria. Here we can see a whole bunch of FNAF props, like the cupcake, as well as some empty heads of the various characters. Oswald does also have a flashlight. I don't know if that's gonna be something we just automatically have, or maybe that's something we find in here. But of course, off to the right-hand side, we can see Freddy Fazbear with his chest ripped open, one of his arms just completely missing. Even one of his feet is just completely gone, showing off his endoskeleton toes. So it's going to be super interesting to explore these withered versions of the classic FNAF 1 characters. In the next screenshot, we have Oswald inside of the arcade area being chased down by Spring Bonnie. Once again, seems like not only do we have to look out for Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, those guys, but also it seems like Spring Bonnie is going to be lurking around the pizzeria as we explore. We did see in that trailer we can hide inside of a Golden Freddy suit, so I'd assume we're gonna have to find places to hide to dodge his chases. The next screenshot features the exterior of Jeff's Pizza, which is something we did see in the trailer. For a bit of backstory, Jeff's Pizza is the modern use of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza building. So in 1985, it was used as Freddy Fazbear's, but now in current day, it's Jeff's Pizza, which is just a basic pizza place that Oswald goes to during the day in the story. That's where Oswald finds the ball pit, he goes into the pit, he must admit, and that's how he goes back to 1985. Here we can see an image of Spring Bonnie sitting at Oswald's dining room table. If you remember from the story's description, at some point later on in the story, Spring Bonnie just takes on the role of Oswald's father, which sounds like a fantasy to some, but probably a nightmare for Oswald. Gotta be super weird sitting down at family dinner, and Spring Bonnie is just right there eyeing up your mother. A detail that really caught my eye in this teaser actually is the calendar behind Bonnie that's marked some date in October. Now, notably, if I remember correctly, this story takes place during the summer. I've seen some people just chalk this up to an Easter egg to the release of the FNAF movie, which was in late October, or they could just be switching up what month this story takes place in for some reason. The next teaser is a frame of Spring Bonnie's jump scare animation. Some very detailed, gory looking teeth right there, Bonnie. If I've not made it clear already, I absolutely adore the art style that Mega Cat Studios is using for this game. It is extremely unique and something we've never seen before in the franchise. The characters, locations, details, animations, everything in this game so far it just looks spectacular, so massive shout out to Mega Cat Studios. In the next screenshot, Oswald has ventured into the kitchen, and of course, in the kitchen, you're gonna find Chica the chicken. I can't tell if Chica's just striking a creepy, eerie pose when Oswald walks in, or if Chica and even Freddy in that earlier teaser are currently not working. You know, they're not turned on, they're not activated, so they're not necessarily going after Oswald just yet. I don't know, but either way, a very creepy scene. Next up, we have a teaser featuring the principal at Oswald 
Oswald's school, with her saying to Oswald, hey, aren't you supposed to be in class? I am very intrigued to see not only, of course, the Freddy Fazbear's locations and the FNAF elements in this game, but also to explore a bit more about Oswald's life. So I'm super happy they're not just adapting the FNAF elements. No, we also get a lot of backstory about Oswald and what he's going through. The next teaser has Spring Bonnie peeking through a crack in a door. We did see some closets and wardrobes in an earlier teaser inside of Oswald's bedroom. So much like that Golden Freddy suit in the trailer, there's going to be various locations we can hide inside of to evade Spring Bonnie. And the final teaser is the back alley of the mill location. And this teaser is super exciting because as we can see, we've got Trash and the Gang back. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. Number one crate, Mr. Can Do, Mr. Hugs, Bucket Bob, and Pan Stan all in the same location? Is it FNAF's birthday or my birthday? Because this is an incredible gift. But all joking aside, there are a few other details to note. First up, also in one of the dumpsters, we can see what appears to be Helpy with his pink snout, white grayish face with a top hat. Seems like he's out of commission, which is very sad. We can also see Bonnie's guitar from Help Wanted. We know it's his guitar specifically from Help Wanted because we can see the tuners on the guitar that we use in his parts and service minigame. So whether all of this pizza sim and Help Wanted connection actually means anything to the story and the, mm, the juicy lore, we're gonna have to wait and find out. I'm gonna quickly cycle through some of the cover art used for the Into the Pit game. A lot of it just features Spring Bonnie, inside of the ball pit, who would have guessed? Interestingly, some of it features him in a bit more of a robotic-y, metallic -y state. While his costume in teasers released by Mega Cat Studios is a bit more hairy, it's a bit fuzzier. So whether or not one of these designs is an earlier design of Spring Bonnie and he actually looks like more fuzzy, or he's actually a bit more robotic -y and metallic. I'm not sure, maybe he'll switch between those appearances, between the 1985 appearances and the more modern appearances. Appearances? <laughs> but lastly, for teasers, we are almost done. We have these teasers, which to me at least, looks like they take place in a 3D environment. Not only that, it also looks like they take place in a first-person perspective. So we're actually looking through the eyes of Oswald as we're inside of Jeff's pizza. So I'm really intrigued to see that switch between 2D pixel art to more of a 3D first person perspective. And lastly, for the most recent Into the Pit teaser, we need to go back to April 1st. And no, this isn't an April Fool's joke. Because for April Fool's, Mega Cat Studios rebranded to a pizzeria establishment, making a fake ad advertising their new pizza business. But for a split second, we can see a brand new teaser of Into the Pit. And here we can see Oswald talking to Jeff. Now, of course, the teaser is a little difficult to make out. But after of course have tried decoding this very pixelated text by Jeff and the closest I've seen is oh someone with the name blank Larson called by or stopped by something along those lines now book fans should immediately recognize the name Larson because detective Larson is the main protagonist of the Stitch Wraith Stingers. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know anything about the character Larson or the Stitch Wraith Stingers, but I will say it doesn't look like in Jeff's text that it says Everett Larson, which is the first name of Detective Larson. So he might not even be saying Larson. I'd love to know what do you think Jeff is saying in this text. But that is everything we know so far about Into the Pit. It seems like it will very closely follow elements in the story of the book, with Mega Cat Studios paying very, very close attention two details in the book and adapting it to the game. They even went on a reply spree on Twitter referencing and quoting and taking easter eggs from the story. So based on how much attention they've paid to the source material as well as all of these teasers, I feel very, very confident that we are in very safe hands with Mega Cat Studios and this Into the Pit game. I do wish info was a bit more frequent because like I said, all of this stuff got leaked in January, and then we had that April teaser, but since then, it's been silence. And since the game is set to release around the anniversary in August, I do wish info was a bit more frequent, but I also understand a lot of this game got leaked, unfortunately, so that probably ruined no pun intended, God damn it. A lot of planned promotion and marketing for this game, so I just send my best of wishes to Mega Cat Studios. Again, I am absolutely floored by what we've seen so far. The game looks absolutely phenomenal. And of course, we will be playing it on this channel when it releases, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thank you all so much for checking out this FNAF News video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.